Hey, Symmetry family. Hey, Symmetry family. This is Eric Gurr. I'm agency owner. I am uh, proud to be here today. I've got uh, with me, I've got my upline, Mr. Mike Sudoff and Mr. Jerry Cantrell. Uh, we are part of the uh, Mike Casey Marshall Whalen hierarchy. Uh, absolutely honored to be here. I'll be hosting today and I brought these gentlemen along with me. So Mr. Mr. Mike Sudoff, uh, we have been together since he recruited me in 2016. Great individual. I have I've, I've really relied on him and trusted him for a lot of things and he's been really great to me. Um, so I brought him aboard and then uh, the fantabulous Mr. Jerry Cantrell has come along with us. He's going to be talking to us a little bit today. So I, I've brought my two experts, my mentors, my people who work with me. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, reaching up for success today. Um, so, uh, you know, when Marshall texted me a week or so ago, uh, my first reaction was, oh my gosh, Marshall wants me to do the national call. So that was truly terrifying in all its aspects. Uh, but I'm happy to be here and, and thrilled. I love this company. I love this family. And so I'm thrilled to be here and honored. Uh, but the first thing I did was I said, you know what, I've got to figure out what I'm going to talk about. My first reaction was to think, let me reach up to my upline and figure out what we're going to talk about, because what's important is understanding how we function in this business. And so for me, my first reaction to reach up for my help, uh, I reach out to these gentlemen who's helped me get where I am. Uh, Mike Sudoff started the company in 2016, has been a financial, a fa fantastic individual, steady producer. Jerry Cantrell is, uh, is a, a tremendous uh, person, leads a great team. He's looking at about uh, almost $2 million in this year coming up in production. Uh, and so I'm thrilled to be with them here today. Uh, we're going to talk about three things today. We're going to talk about, uh, well, of course, our subject is reaching up for success. But in doing that, we're going to talk about three subjects, which is mindset. We're going to talk about activity. And we're going to talk about correction. So, um, Jerry, would you lead us off here talking a little bit about mindset? Eric, thank you. And thank you for uh, uh, it, you know, welcoming me to this call today. It's good to be here in the Symmetry world. Thank you all for being with us. And uh, just a little bit about Eric and Mike. These are my leaders on my team. I couldn't have been more blessed to have such quality individuals. And I think that's what the beautiful thing about Symmetry is it brings quality people. You are a quality person. And uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the environment and the culture we have here. You know, Eric, uh, you're direct to Mike and Mike's direct to me and I'm direct to Mike who's direct to Marshall. And uh, that's a pretty good lineage, pretty good lineage. I'm, I'm really grateful for, for my upline and all they've done for me. But Eric, you and I started doing business together back in uh, 2018. Sir. The end of 2018, you had an engineering background. And uh, you came at this business and, you know, it, frankly, I felt you were very determined from jump. And you had a slow start. You had a slow start. And it, it took you a few months to kind of figure it out. And, and uh, you start out part-time for a couple of months, but boy, you're really doing it now. Just give you a little note about Eric. Eric uh, his top month is 53,000. That's incredible. 53,000 in a month. And uh, last year you were number seven in the company. Wow. Congratulations to you. Mike Sunoff, since 2016, your top month's 32,000. And uh, you started out part-time in 2016 as well. You're a pilot by trade. And so you're doing a little bit of private flying, if, I, if you will. And now you're flying with symmetry, right? You got that right, sir. <laughs> I'm thankful to, to be with you today. But mindset. You know, when I started, I, I had lots of years of business backgrounds. As a matter of fact, I have 30 years of business experience. And so I... I heard about this mindset and, and Marshall and Mike would say, hey, you need to be reading. And I just didn't buy into it. I'll be honest with you, I didn't buy into it. I felt like my mindset was good. And I worked on that regularly. But, and I'll tell you, the more I listened to them and watched their growth, I says, you know what? I need to do this. And the number one thing we all need to do is that very thing, is read. If you're not getting up in the morning and putting your face into some reading and some meditation, you're missing the boat because mindset is where your foundation is built. Mindset is where you're going to jump into your success. 
So it took me a while. We all fight it. I don't know why we do that, but we seem to fight things in the beginning. Don't we? This might be that ego thing, which Eric couldn't talk about a little bit, right? But uh, don't fight it. Do it. Sit down. Get into your books. Get into some meditation and start working on your mindset today. You will see your business grow and you will succeed. Back to you, Eric. Uh, so thank you, Jerry. So Mike, let's talk a little bit about a new agent's mindset. Besides the, you know, uh, you know, the proverbial self-improvement is where we start. Let's talk about you're a new agent to symmetry. What kind of mindset do you need coming in here? What is it? What is it that you really need to have uh, going for you as you start out? Thanks for that, uh, Eric. And once again, everybody, my name is Mike Sudhoff. I am direct to Jerry Cantrell and the uh, Mike Casey Marshall Whalen organization. So happy to be here and so thankful that Jerry reached out five years ago with an ad on Craigslist and found me. <laughs> but anyway, as a, as a new agent, um, you know, it, it, to have the, the, the what we consider the proper mindset is, you know, you want to come in and be coachable. You want to be vulnerable. Okay, open your open yourself up to not necessarily criticism, but to coaching. Okay, and once again, what Eric will talk about here is also losing your ego when you come on board. Okay, we're very very big into personal development in Symmetry Financial Group. Okay, so as most of you know, ninety percent of what we do is mental here, ten percent physical activity. Okay, and so being strong in the mindset category is absolutely imperative for success here. Um, we start everybody off with personal development. Obviously, uh, it's easier for some of us than others to get into the reading and so forth. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it myself. I, I, I read constantly now and, 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 and certainly do the, um, uh, all the other activities that we normally do in the mornings, scribing, uh, journaling, uh, exercising, personal development reading. So it, it's, it's very imperative to our, imperative to our success to continue on that track. But as a new agent coming on board, we've got to instill in them, you know, the, the vision of our company, what their plan is, and come on board with the correct mindset to set us up for success. But back to you, Eric, on that. Yeah. So uh, for me, as a, my team, when I'm working with, uh, I'm very uh, much to setting the grounds right away when they start up is, uh, you've got to, you've got to come to me. You've got to reach out to me. The whole point of my job as agency owner, I literally say the words as agency owner, my one job is to ensure your success. Um, a rising tide floats all boats. That's my one job is to make sure that I help them to achieve what I've been able to achieve. And I know that I wouldn't be here without the YouTube gentlemen. I know for a fact that I would not, um, my mindset when I started, I was a bit of a loner. I mean, I literally, you know, I, I'm an engineer. I saw a process, you know, symmetry is fantastic in that. Yeah. It gave me that element that, you know, you just do this, you do this, you do this, you'll achieve this. And you know what? That is exactly what I did. I started out, I saw the activity. I wasn't really good at it, uh, to, to be frank. I don't think I booked an appointment, like one appointment my first whole month. But, you know, <laughs> I stayed with it and uh, I did the activity because I know it's there. I'm an engineer. Show me a pattern. Show me a process. I know I will get to the end of it. I just have to have, a, you know, to see where it is. The one element I really didn't take into account was, uh, the mindset, the openness, the coachable, the vulnerable. I didn't do all those things when I started. Uh, and uh, so, Jerry, you know, just from personal reflection on that, uh, you really worked with me really well to help me out. Uh, so you could go into that a little bit, if you don't mind, Jerry. Well, I'm going to give you really the credit because you decided that you wanted to help. And you, frankly, to that end, you flew to Denver, Colorado on two different occasions to spend days with me and Alina here at our home. So just to watch what we do so that you could, you know, duplicate that. I was impressed by that. It is impressive. It's an extra effort, but it's more than an extra effort. It shows a true desire to succeed. And you know, that's it. If you really, really, really want something, then you're going to have to do big things. You're going to have to break out a little bit. You're going to have to let go of your old thoughts about what was and, and create something new. And it's okay. It's okay. It's fun to create something. Yeah. But I, you know, you, you reached out from the very beginning and you went in a big way. I mean, you're in Florida. I'm in Colorado. Uh, that was an effort. And I applaud you for that. 
Well, you know, it was, it was, it was important for me once that I made that transition and started <laughs> understanding that this is bigger than, I mean, as the engineer, you want to be kind of flat in what you do. You want to just follow something and move through it. But it really came to be really quick that there was so much more to this job. Uh, you know, Mike said that, you know, it's 10% activity and 90% mental. I really didn't understand the mental equation in this. And it, it really made a big difference sitting with you and Alina and, and talking to you directly, watching your activity, watching your commitment to your team, watching, you know, that uh, this is much bigger than, than me. Yeah. Um, um, and, you know, somebody asked me really early on, you know, when you're going to become agency owner, when you're agency director, when you get to, you know, to those next levels. And I'm like, I'm not the person that I need to be when I get there. I'm not ready for it yet. I have to be a different person in order for me to get there. I got to learn. I got to, I got to get my mentors to help me move that. And I've been so blessed by Mike and Jerry and Mike and, and Marshall. I mean, like I said, that you said that lineage, you just can't get past that. But for me, it's, it was all driven by my being a vulnerable and coachable um, Mike uh, Sudoff uh, was a, you know, what's that like for you now? You're an agency director now. Um, you're, you know, still building your base shop, your team and everything. What's that like to try to bring in that agent right away and set that, set them on the right course for you? Yeah, bringing in, in you know, our new agents right now, we got to, we have to sit down with them and figure out number one, what is it they're looking for? What's they're looking to do? What's their vision? What their life? Their goals, etc. And from that point, then we can craft a plan. This is how we're going to go from point A to point B. So as we all know, activity in this business trumps everything else. Okay, it's getting down to business and you know putting our foot on the gas. All right. So activity, activity, activity. And you'll hear it, hear it, hear probably from Jerry and Eric both. It's do it now. Do it. Okay, just do it now. <laughs> and we've all heard that before from a famous speaker. But anyway, uh, we, we, we certainly live by that credo. So, um, you know, the activity is the most important thing, especially starting out with us. Okay, and whether it be the, the dialing or the setting the appointments and, and running appointments, etc. But the activity is what drives everything. It's, it's oxygen for us. Okay, it makes everything else happen. All right. So sitting down with the new agent, I've got to sit down with them and figure out what is it they're looking to do? What is it they're looking to get out? Of? What are, what's their goals? Their one year goal, their five year goal, and then put a plan into place. This is what we have to do. This is the activity that we're going to have to incorporate into your daily life to make this happen. All right. So that's the way I set everything up. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. So, if you don't have a goal, if you're not, and you don't have any way to measure the outcome of that or what you're, what you're trying to, it's just a wish. It literally is just a wish. Um, and it, you're not, you know, you've got to, you know, that the activity is there, you know what you can do, but you don't have a goal or a direction and it really doesn't matter. Uh, so Jerry, you're working with us. We're working with their team. You're trying to set goals. You're trying to set activity up because we're, you know, you, Mike, you took us right into activity, which is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Jerry, tell us a little bit about working with your team um, on moving that forward, moving forward with the activity, and then setting goals, setting things like that. Well, thank you. Um, I, I'm gonna re I'm gonna say this and go back into the mindset thing, but for just a brief second. Yes, sir. You will do more. You will do a lot more when we talk about activity. You'll do a lot more when you believe more. Not only do you need to believe in yourself more, you have to believe that this system works. Put away the fears and put away the doubts and, and just do it. Make it happen by doing it. So when you talk about activity, you got to relax, take a breath. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Yeah, you might say something wrong. You might fill out the paperwork incorrectly. But if you just relax, say it's okay, and believe you will do more activity. You see, because you're not going to make 250, 300 dials a week if you don't believe you can do it. If you don't believe you're actually helping somebody. Which is really, I think, the other thing we need to remember when you talk about activity. It's driven by your why. You know, why are you doing this? I mean, sure, we like money. I like money. I don't want to be a hypocrite and say I don't. But that's not the number one reason I'm here. It's not. The number one reason I'm here with symmetry is because of the culture of symmetry. I love it. 
I love the people of Symmetry. And I love what they want to do for not only us, but for the community and for the clientele and to allow us to be able to develop ourselves within that system. That's really special. Well, thank you, Jerry. So Mike, question for you. Um, I'm a new agent. I, or I, I'm, I'm pretty a seasoned agent. I've been working with the company a little bit. Um, my mindset's good. My activity's good. Um, but, uh, I don't seem to be closing in the home. I don't seem to be getting that, you know, really filling it, finishing it out. Um, what's one of those vital things, you know, that's in, in, in line with what we're talking about today. What's one of those vital things that you feel as a, as a mentor, your job is to do. That, that brings us to our, our essentially our third topic, and that's going to be constant correction. So we're, we're essentially talking about massive activity, constant correction, but today it's, it's mindset, activity, and correction. And yeah, it's, if, so we've got a new agent. They're, they're doing everything correctly, okay? But let's say they're not closing in the home, okay, for whatever reason. Now we have, we have uh, an area that we can look at and figure out what is it we need to do to boost the close, you know, close ratio for them in the home. And what can I do to assist in doing that? So that the activity obviously is what starts everything from dialing to setting appointments to running appointments, et cetera. So many dials, so many appointments, you know, so many contacts, et cetera. Uh, but finally, you know, our job as upline is to constantly counsel our agents. All right. Help them with whatever they need. In this case, constant correction. In this case, we're going to figure out what it is we need to tweak in the home to get them back on track. Okay, so that's that's our third uh, uh, discussion point today is the constant correction. I know for me as an agency owner, there is no more vital uh, expression I give to my team is you got to reach out. You got to call me. You got to talk to me. The agents who text me every day, the agents who reach out to me every day, mm -hmm. I know are doing the business. I know they're working. I know their mindset is there. I know their activity is on play uh, on task. I mean, it is so vital for, and I know when I started out, I, you know, I, I, I didn't reach out. I didn't reach up. Um, I didn't ask for help. I really, I, like I said, I thought I had it. I thought I could do it all. Um, and, you know, it took, me, you know, to go back to mindset, to be coachable, to be vulnerable, to understand, hey, I really don't know this as well as I thought, or I should be doing a lot better than this. When I saw numbers coming out of, you know, teams numbers that were, you know, 30,000, 35,000, I said to myself, I, I, I want to do that. That's who I want to be. I want to be the guy who's at the top of the leaderboards. I want a guy who's protecting more families and being able to do more for my family, because it's really vitally important to be able to do that. Um, and so when I'm coaching my team, I'm literally saying, guys, anytime you have that thought, Eric's too busy, don't reach out to him. Or I, you know, I don't want to bother him or anything else. I tell them all the time, you're not bothering me. I may be occupied at that moment, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to hear from you or don't want to help you. And if I get a text 911 in the home, I'm going to be back to you as quick as I can. It is, once again, as agency owner, it is so vital on me to, to make sure that you're successful. So if you're an agent here at Symmetry and you've been with the company a little while, if you're a, if you're an agent, you're a, you know, uh, uh, agency owner, whatever, make sure you're reaching up. Don't forget that component of it. It's so vital. It's so important. Um, and that's why I wanted to convey that because I think that I really missed that opportunity. Um, and I think at one point, and Jerry, I, you know, to go back over to you at one point, I called you up and said, I need you to hold me accountable. I knew I wasn't reaching my goals. I reached, wasn't reaching my activity. And I literally called you up and say, Jerry, I want you to hold me accountable. I'm going to set my goals. I'm going to set this. Um, what is that? I mean, as an agent reaching out to you saying, I want to be accountable. What does that mean to you as an agency director, agency owner? Well, by you calling and saying, please hold me accountable, just shows me who you are. Because that you let go of your ego. I mean, you really did. You, you wanted to be held accountable because you want to win. And what that means to me is somebody who wants to win. And uh, and they know, they know they need help. I mean, you can't do this business alone. I didn't do this business alone. I remember my very first appointment, my very first lead, 
I called Mike Casey, I think, five times. I was there for four hours with that guy. I, I didn't know what I was doing. And I just kept calling Mike. I wrote it, too, for heaven's sakes. I mean, it, it works. It works. And uh, so, yeah, you, you hold accountable. Be accountable to yourself and be accountable to your mentor. And yeah, Eric, you, yes, you are that and have been that. I tell you what, on my very first appointment, I sat down with a gentleman. I swear to you, I tell you to this day, I swear to you, he laughed at me. He literally laughed at me sitting in his home at, and, and then just made me feel so incompetent. And one of the only things that I didn't do that day, mm -hmm. I did not call Mike. I did not call you. I didn't ask for help. I, I, I got myself down a rabbit hole and I didn't, I didn't reach up. And you know, I, it's so essential, you know, I know I'm going to beat this, this, this horse to death, but it really is so essential for you to be the coachable, uh, coachable and vulnerable and reach up and then, and then move forward with that. That's what your mentors there. I mean, our job is to do, basically duplicate your mentor. Mm -hmm. And if there are agency owners and agency directors and people at your team that are trying to give you advice, um, it's a little thing, take it literally take the advice they they are trying to show you success if you buck the advice you know i'm still i gotta tell you jerry i'm still fighting marshall marshall still texts me and says what are you reading and man i hate I, it drives me crazy yeah. <laughs> he still texts me he says what are you reading and i'm like all right well we'll find out i gotta gotta move on to the next thing so don't do it as much as i should but but once again that shows the care on his part shows the care in this whole company and what they do but but you got to be open to it you've got to be ready to accept that and then um moving on you know uh, goals uh uh jerry mike uh, let's talk a little bit about goal setting and the uh, corrections and then what that looks like moving forward with a new agent so uh mike you want to start off yeah so initially when going back to the, the, the corrections and so forth i was mentioning as we bring in new agents we set up a plan essentially sit down what you know what are their goals all okay? right what do they want to accomplish and so by by doing so we have an idea of where we need to get to work you know other than our our, our, our primary you know dialing setting points and so forth i want to find out what it is they're looking to do okay part-time full-time what what's their future hold for them what do they want it to look like mm -hmm. and then from that point on Okay, now we're in the field, we're running appointments, we're doing uh, corrections and so forth. Uh, now let's go back and let's reevaluate the goals. Okay, uh, if they, their initial goals when they first came in may, may have been, hey, I just want to write, you know, 2000 AP a week or whatever the case may be. Well, now that they're out there doing it, we need to reevaluate goals, set some higher standards. Okay, let's, let's grow. All right. So not only are we really staying, you know, involved with personal development, all of our reading and so forth, but now, we're wanting them to grow professionally. Okay. So let's get out there. Let's show them the next step, the next level. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, you hear this so many times within our company, once you reach a new level of activity, now that's your new benchmark. And then now you can step it up next time and again and so forth. So let's look at everything, the, the whole picture, you know, down the road and let's modify our goals, you know, on a routine basis because you're going to reach your goals if you, follow our system, you're going to reach your initial goals. Well, let's set some new ones in and how are we going to achieve that? And that's what we're there for. You know, look up, you know, look up, reach up to your upline, to your mentors, ask, you know, ask for guidance. That's what we're, that's what we're, that's what they're there for. Okay. So back to you, Eric. Jerry, reach up for success. If I just said those words, can you sum that up a little bit, reaching up for success as a, as an agent? I mean, we really are speaking to the people out there who have joined this call, who want to know how to make themselves more successful, how to um, become uh, one of the top agents, how to, how to just achieve a goal maybe, or just to get their initial, you know, to really establish themselves. So I tell you, Jerry, reach up for success. Can you summarize that a little bit in your own words? You're, you, I know you're, you're, you're absolutely tremendous at helping me refine my process and getting to where I need to be. So now let's tell the other 3000 people listening Reach up for success. What does that mean, Jerry? I think back to time some years ago, I went to an event, symmetry event in Atlanta. I went to a baseball game and I had the opportunity to sit beside a fellow barely knew, didn't know, hardly knew his name. His name was Marshall Whalen. I sat beside him. We just talked. And we got to know each other. And, you know, 
I reflect upon that, and you're talking about reaching up for success. I reflect upon sitting beside Marshall and talking, not really so much about business, but about life. And sometimes you just need to know that it's if it's okay, everything's going to be a workout just fine. And then and Marshall had set the precedent and uh, and had set the path, and I knew that if I just follow his footsteps, I'll be fine. And so I think that's what I would say as far as reaching up for success is that it, you're okay. You're enough. You're good enough. You're smart enough. You are enough. Just yeah. go and do it and work with your mentor. What, what is your strategy? What do you really truly want from symmetry? Are you going to be a producer or a builder or both? What do you want? Set up your strategy, then set up your components of that strategy Work with your mentor on that. What does your components mean? Well, what time are you going to be put in work? What's your schedule look like? Do you have your schedule in writing? Are you living by your schedule? Set up the components of your strategy and then live there. And then be accountable, like Eric said. Be accountable to yourself and to your upline. And then just move forward. You know, everybody makes mistakes. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just go out and do more activity until you get better at it. You will get better by activity. These two gentlemen right here consistently run in 15 to 20 appointments a week. A week. Now, that's massive action. If you want to know this, the, the reason that they're succeeding, you look right there. 15 to 20 appointments a week. That's what gets you thirty to $50,000 in production a month. And uh, talk to your mentor about your strategy, your plan, and your goals. Write it down and live in it. And you will win. The system is already proved out. Now you just go and do it. Eric? You know, the other day, I, we, we, when we were prepping for this, we talked. And one of the biggest things that uh, you said to me, and I, I wrote a, took a note here, Jerry. It said, uh, you got to remove blame. Mm -hmm. You got to remove blame. And I, I, I want to put that back into the accountability side of things. You got to remove blame. It's not leads. It's not, it's not the area you live in. It's not your upline. It's not your mentor. It's not the company. It's not anything. There are way too many people doing this business who are successful, who have done really great things. You've got to get your mindset straight. And this company has a program. It has a culture. It has training. It has everything. You've got to plug into this business. One of my, one of the biggest things I've ever told my team is you got to plug in for success. You got to reach up. You got, there's, there is so many resources available to help you. If your mind is closed, uh, you can't get there. So, you know, when we go back to this uh, and, you know, a little bit of a closing here, we talked about mindset and how open and vulnerable you have to be to be able to be here. And you got to put away your ego. You have got to be here, open-minded, uh, eager, you know, willing to get, Les Brown said, uh, the, the easiest thing I ever did was make a million dollars. The hardest thing I ever did was believe I could make a million dollars. So you've got to have that belief factor when you're starting out in this, in this company, you've got to know that you've got this and you can make it. I tell you what, I had so many tough, you know, tough hurdles that I went over and so much. And, you know, I called Mike and I said, Mike, you know, I just don't know that I'm doing this right. And I called Jerry and I said, Jerry, I need your help. I just don't know that I'm doing this right. I'm telling you people, I would not be here. I would not be in the position I am and how grateful I am for everything. All my success was without these two gentlemen. And my immediate reaction, as soon as I got the text from Marshall was, I'm going to reach up to these guys and ask them for help. I hope everybody feels that they have that, that component available to them. So set your mindset, get your activity in place. The more activity you do, the more you will feel confident in what you're doing, the more success you will have, the more success you will have, the more confidence you're doing, the more activity will breed that. That's massive action, constant correction. The correction part comes from reaching into the system, analyzing what you're doing wrong, uh, removing blame from everyone else and doing your business for yourself. That's what's vital to this. Um, your success comes from duplicating your mentor, the program, being part of this organization, reaching out and reaching up for success. 
everyone, if you take nothing else from today, just know that you have a family in symmetry. You have people who are dedicated to your success. I have never worked, I've worked in corporate environments. I've done 30 years of, in, in different industries. Never once was anybody this focused on how helping me succeed. If you're not succeeding, it is, it is going to be something you need to look up for. You need to look up because there's a hand there ready to pull you up and bring you up to the level that they're at because they want you to succeed. Jerry and Mike, I would not be here today. I would not have all the things that this life has given me, the availability, the, 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 the incredible fortune that is available to me uh, without the two of you. And in all of this, because one day, and I love to say this phrase, I'm here because one day Jerry Cantrell watched the video. I'm here one because one day Mike Sudoff watched the video uh, and they've changed my life and they made it so much better. If you're an agent with Symmetry and you're watching this broadcast, I'm begging you, plug in, stay connected, keep your mindset ready and keep yourself vulnerable and approachable and, and, and go out there and do this business. It's very simple. You buy leads, you make calls, you sit in homes and you take care of families and you'll be successful. Mike, Jerry, thank you very much for being here today. Symmetry family, go out there and make it happen for everybody. Have a wonderful week. Take care, everybody. Thank, thank you all. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.